Whoa. Love me some AT rocket kills. Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I'm coming at you here with a video that is meant to help some of you guys out to give you some tips about how to be a bit more effective when it comes to taking out tanks and vehicles as an assault player. Now, one of the gadgets that you can unlock quite quickly are the AT mines, and one of the best ways of using them is that if you, uh, if your team has captured the flag that is closest to your enemy's spawn, you can place these mines in the most likely path where any vehicle would take in order to either capture that flag or just pass through. Now if you place these mines and you die before the mines go off, then you can switch to another kit or another gadget. You can actually even switch class and the mines will still be there where you place them. For example, I've actually been able to get mine kills while I was running around as a medic. Now I always stick with the AT rocket gun for all my uh, loadouts. But I switch between either the rocket gun and the mines, or the rocket gun and the AT grenades. And if I decide to stick to the assault class for that round, then I switch it up between the different uh, loadouts. Now unfortunately the whole proning and deploying the bipods are just as buggy now in the early build of the fully released game as it was in the beta. And I'm not gonna lie, the more this persists, the more I'm getting irritated over it. Now, I understand that there are places where you should not be able to deploy your bipods, so where you should not be able to prone at all, but then the prone and uh, deploying the bipod animation shouldn't happen in the first place. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering why I'm playing as Emma Madsen. Now, this is because uh, the trial version that lasts for only 10 uh, hours was over quite quickly for me, but luckily one of the moderators of my Twitch stream, Emma Madsen, was kind enough to lend me two of her accounts, which has allowed me to just continue playing. I'll, I'll give it a go. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Nah. Yes, the Assault class is a very self-sacrificial class. I don't know how many times I've been sniped or killed by whatever is on the battlefield whenever I'm trying to take out a tank. It's uh, actually more common that I get killed by something else than the actual tank that I'm fighting and mostly this is due to either some of the bugs with the, the uh, AT rocket gun and its uh, bipods or just because uh, even when it works it just is so slow. Now I normally switch between the medic class that you see here and the assault class and I really can't see why the assault class is stuck with these submachine guns, but I'm hoping that I will uh, eventually be friends with the experimental version of the MP-18s. Now, during this gameplay, I have a mines out because I played assault earlier, but unfortunately this time the mines didn't go off. And I'm switching here because uh, the squad that I'm playing with here, they don't seem to be interested in taking out tanks. So I kind of decided to skip it myself also because without a proper teamwork, sometimes going after tanks on your own is just too frustrating. However, here is an example of when I made an exception and actually was rather successful. Hallelujah! Yeah, then that, yeah, thanks, Emma. Yeah, that was a pretty sweet little throw. We can take out that tank. This isn't tank here. We have taken objective Edward. Taking the objective. Hold on to it. Tank spotted. Stay alert. Of course, there's a. Sighted attack! Throw the grenade! What?
So yeah, as you could see, there was another assault player there, and he did hit the tank with something just before I started engaging it. So I did get a little bit of help there. Now, one of the things that has been changed that is probably quite a big change actually, is that for um, some of the upgrades for the light tanks, or maybe I should say loadouts, um, they can't turn their uh, turret all the way around, so if you're behind it, they actually can't shoot you. That's a significant nerf they've made, he can't turn his tower. So I, because I got behind him, he couldn't shoot me. It's actually a big, that's actually a big change. So yeah, I hope that the footage in this video was a little bit helpful for some of you guys who has been uh, trying to get into the assault class and especially trying, been trying to take out vehicles. Tanks and vehicles in this game are rather frustrating to deal with, but uh, once you get the hang of it, and especially once you have a decent teamwork going, it is a lot more rewarding. And I say this, despite the fact that in all the uh, situations that you see in this video, anything that might resemble teamwork is just other players that are in the same area at the same time. So now for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you some mixed uh, assault gameplay here. You see me using mostly this uh, version of the MP18, which is the artillery. It has the reflex sight and it is a little bit better at range with slightly more damage, I believe, but it has more accuracy when aimed down sight and less accuracy when hip firing. And I am, of course, comparing it with the default trench version. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, what? He's alive? Oh shit! Fucking big ass tank there. Where do you want to go? Echo. Echo. Yeah, yeah. Keep dropping ammo. Just drop. Oh. Oh, in here, in here, in here. In here, you're going the wrong way. Oh, yeah, I wanted to take out that fucking behemoth. Whoa. Oh, that was a friendly. Scared the fucking crap out of me. The enemy controls all of out oh fuck and I died to the gas why the hell did I have to run in there I was doing so good <laughs> holy shit the amount you have to shoot I wanted to pick up his kit, but he disappeared. He's down. I think this weapon suits me a bit better. I need ammunition. Enemy medic left. Oh, I can't hit him from here. 
Oh shit, that's mortar. We have taken objective butter. My God, push forward. Ah, behind me.